Authorities on Wildfire Watch tonight crews are working to protect the Placer County community of Forest Hill after the mosquito fire flared up in that area this afternoon. Thanks for being with us tonight. For Fox 40 News at 10, I'm Eric Harriman. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. That town now in the path of some very fast moving flames. Today, the fire surpassed 50,000 acres in size as it rages across both Placer and El Dorado counties. However, Containment is going up as well with 25% of the perimeter under control. While Mother Nature had been helping a bit, that didn't stop the flames from jumping lines and becoming a bigger threat to even more areas. Yeah, and Fox 40 has team coverage from Placer County for you tonight. Zach Boeto is in Georgetown where spotters are helping to keep that community safe. Rowena Shaddix is in Auburn after checking with the Todd Valley area. And Chief Meteorologist Christina Warner also monitoring those conditions around the fire from here in the studio studio in the Weather Center. We'll get started though with Dennis Shanahan live in Forest Hill with the latest efforts to try and save that community, Dennis. Eric, it is no exaggeration to say Forest Hill was in immediate threat of being wiped out by the mosquito fire today, but a unified force of firefighters from around the state worked and continued to work aggressively to prevent that from happening. Forest Hill was looking somewhat safe over the last few days, but in a twist of nature, as the weather cooled down Tuesday, the fire heated up in this area. Today is the first day that we've got fresh, good oxygen on the fire and the wind blew up. And here we are today. Now we're in a, in a battle. We spoke with fire information officer Bud England in the parking lot of Wharton's Market as the fire made a run up the canyon toward that area. There is a media threat. As you can see, fire is just just below this lip here. And as Cal Fire veteran Scott McLean explained, firefighters were able to light back burns, taking advantage of a shift in the wind that pushed the fire back down slope. And they're burning off that dozer line downhill to take that fuel away from the fire that's coming up the hill, which you just heard is a berry pistol shooting, we'll call them flares, out into further depth into the fire to catch that other vegetation that they cannot safely reach to catch that on fire as well. A nearby irrigation pond provided an ample water source for the fleet of helicopters fighting the Forest Hill flare-up. Across the street from Forest Hill High School, several cars and one structure burned. But as night began to fall, the fire in this area started to lose strength. We found firefighters working hard, dousing hot spots that stood out in the dark. A lot of effort on the ground directed at saving homes in very thick smoke. This kind of smoke stings your eyes and even with a tightly sealed N95 mask, assaults your lungs and you think about the firefighters who have been working in these conditions for days. The Forest Service, Cal Fire, all your local governments you see going by. Um, everybody joined forces together, aircraft and your dozers, your hand crews, you name it, they were there. Scott McLean tells Fox 40 firefighters are feeling a lot better about Forest Hill at the end of this day than they were in the afternoon. So they're going to be here all night, all day, into the week, strengthening what's here as far as fire lines, making sure that things are taken care of. Now tomorrow when the smoke clears, we'll get a much better indication of what was damaged or destroyed today, but likely the larger headline will be how much was saved by the aggressive efforts of firefighters. Many of the crews have been released for the night. Another good sign that what they did here today has been working. Reporting live in Forest Hill, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.